Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations. We need to get to the vault, now! I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my God! This, this is way, our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our Take most advanced facilities. Head down the, hall. the pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. did this, and I'll get Sean back. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Hey, up here, on the balcony. The Raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Personal. Fun? Huh? I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs>
Jimmy Trevett, Cordell Walker. It's good to meet you, Walker. Heard an awful lot about you. Trevett. Commonwealth Minutemen. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. God damn it. Thanks. It's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. Nah, but, that ain't it. Well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Hell yeah. Ma'am. Now look who Dog Meat brought to us. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog Meat's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me, acting <laughs> a crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm, I'm sorry, kid, but I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear, but believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Bingo. You okay? The Minutemen were supposed to protect us. Garby promised! He promised! Mister? Oh, 
Oh, God, no! Why? Why? Oh, God! Oh, God, why? Why, 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 why? It's not fair! It's not fair! Oh, God! Oh, God, why? Why, 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 why? It's not fair! It's not fair! Up here. Boss! We got somebody up here! Open the fire. Why don't you get down here? Let you and my boys have a little talk.
Hey. Easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. Well, it's all in a day's work. Welcome to the Texas Rangers, Trivet. Trivet! Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. Yeah. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just... Feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy, I'm working from nothing. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. 
We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, Sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Hold on to that power armor now. Hate to see it go to rust. Hate to see it go to rust. Hate to see it go to rust. I'm sure Preston can handle anything we find until we reach Sanctuary. Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh. oh. Okay. Get going. Diamond City is where you need to head. Well, look at that. I think I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to Sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. At least it's not raining. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there, Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, 
If you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. You want my two Don't want to be pinned down when the raiders come. You willing to do some work? I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this place. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old. Even older than you'd think. If the Kims are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are, or what you can give. It's my decision, kid, not yours. Now lay off for a while, will ya?
Motherfucker! Hey.
What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Minutemen could use someone like you. Seems to be growing well. Get up and tell myself. Get through today. You've been through a rough time, man. Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. Your son? What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. No. No, they shouldn't. I just keep thinking, maybe I could have done more. Anyway, thanks again.
I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. I've got a few minutes to browse. All salvage, but nothing's junk. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Automated message repeating. Describe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95.
Try anything, and I'll cut you down. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming.
I'll take a look, sure. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. Heads up. I'm sorry. I, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Pretty soft. Unless a behemoth decides to pay us a visit. Hey, if that happens, we won't last long enough to worry about it. Got it. Hello, team. Captain Whitmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now, with you. Together, we will knock Eddie Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000 volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere, even the BPD. 
So, our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operations. Let's get to work. Good hunting. Think you're some kind of hot shot? Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot. Oh, so now we're supposed to be best buddies. Well, guess what? I'm not interested in making friends. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. I'll be certain to keep out of your way, then. You do that. Now, why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? Halen, personal log entry, 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin Dance is waiting for you. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me. And try not to lag behind. <laughs> 